BEM block element modifier is a powerful naming convention for CSS classes. It breaks down web components into three distinct parts. Block. A block is an independent, reusable component of a web page. It is a standalone entity that is meaningful on its own. Examples include header, list, menu, and form. Element. An element is a part of a block that has no standalone meaning and is semantically tied to its block. It represents specific parts of a block with a particular function. Examples include header title, list item, menu item, and form input. Modifier. A modifier indicates a state or variation of a block or element. It changes how the block or element looks or behaves. Examples include checked, disabled, size big, and color primary. Suppose you have a card component in your application. In this component, the card is the block, the image, description, title, and button are the elements of that block. The color variation called primary is a modifier. BEM structures class names using a combination of blocks, elements, and modifiers, along with underscores and hyphens. Following the BEM structure, the class names for this card component would look like this. The HTML for it would look like this as well. Notice that card content and card button group are also elements of the card block. This shows elements can be nested within each other as blocks. And when you have two or more words in a name, you use single hyphen to separate the words. When it comes to styling, using SAS with BEM makes things easier thanks to nesting and the parent selector. In SAS, the ampersand symbol refers to the parent selector at that level of nesting, so you can easily represent blocks or elements with it. It's important to note that while BEM is a solid approach for naming CSS classes, it's not the only option. Whether or not to use BEM depends on your project's needs and your team's preferences.